This is Hannah Rose Adler. Um, she was born in January of 2000. And this was at about the time she was at the center. She was there from the fall of 2001 until the spring of 2003. Hi, I'm Ruth Pack Adler. I am mom to Hannah Adler, a graduate of the Childhood League Center. Hannah first came to the Childhood League Center in the fall of 2001. We had been meeting with private OTs and PTs, and speech therapists at that time, um, after her premature birth. And we came upon a family that was singing the praises of the Childhood League. And we had never heard about it. So we went down and took a look. Hannah at the time was about 18, 20 months old, nonverbal, and just started walking. And we came to this amazing place where the kids were singing and playing and engaging with lots of different people. And they immediately looked at Hannah and saw something in her and said, yeah, we can, we can bring her here and we can help her. And that started our journey, which it's been an incredible, incredible journey. Hannah's now 18 years old and studying this year on a gap year in Israel. Something that if you told me 17 years ago when we walked into that building she would be able to do, I wouldn't have believed you. But we came to that parent-child class with Darla and Rhonda in the fall of 2001. And together she and I learned different techniques, different strategies for play and for interaction and for just working with what her strengths were and finding a way to overcome some of the challenges. And I just fell in love with everything about the center. I was always comforted by the fact that I could sit in Library Square back then in front of the big fish tank with other parents and talk and strategize and sometimes complain and sometimes share great advice or the latest doctor that was able to have a breakthrough with Hannah. Um, diets, great playgrounds for kids who play differently or learn differently, and that camaraderie and that support of the other families was always really important to me to have that community. There were other services that we took incredible advantage of, having the nurse on site so that we could check, was it another ear infection, which often it was. Um, but sometimes it's just easier with a kid like Hannah to not have to run down to the, the doctor and expose her to more germs or illness. So having the nurse there, having her be able to check on Hannah and tell us, yeah, she's fine, or yeah, it looks like an ear infection, that was important. It was another service that was provided that really helped us care for Hannah the best way that we could. And time went on and my nonverbal 20 month old became a very chatty two year old. And we looked to her graduating from the center and going to a typical preschool at that time. So we did a little bit more testing just to make sure and the staff at the center was unbelievable coming to our house, coming up with play strategies for us to work with Hannah, and also volunteering to go to some of the preschools we were considering to see if they'd be a good fit. And it was about that time that we realized that she really wasn't ready for a mainstream preschool and she had some more work to do. So we spent another year at the center and we were in Mary's room where Hannah just blossomed and thrived and had a great year and continued to work with Miss D and Miss Vicky and really gained a lot of strength and confidence and social skills that she needed to be successful. And when the time came, 
Dee came with me to the preschool and talked to the teachers and kind of handed us off to another caring set of hands. And every step along the way, it's been kind of a family approach of private therapies and education. And the center really was the start of helping me to become the best advocate that I could be for Hannah and empowering me to know what to look for and what to ask for and setting me up with a network of people who also face the same challenges but at the end of the day their kids and their their success whatever that would take was job one so i really i'm grateful for the center for giving me those tools and for creating this network for me I guess we could fast forward six years, eight years after that, and we were living in St. Louis at the time, and it was becoming time for Hannah to have her bat mitzvah. And she was thinking about what she could do. Traditionally, when a girl becomes a bat mitzvah, there's a, a studying component, but there's also a charity component, something we call tzedakah. And Often kids will, will find an institution or organization that speaks to them. And despite living in St. Louis at the time, Hannah said, I'd really like to give back to the Childhood League because I know it was a really important place when I was younger. So we made a trip back to Columbus and Hannah got to meet up with Dee and Darla and Rhonda and Vicki and Miss Vicki. And um, she established a fund at the Childhood League and asked people who were going to give her a gift at her bat mitzvah to consider making a donation to the center as well. And commitment to seeing her journey as a part of who she had become and also an appreciation of all the center had done for her and for other kids like her. This past year, we um, moved back to Columbus, a city that we really, really love. And shortly after coming back, I met up with another mom who had a child who was friendly with Hannah at the center. And we were sitting around having coffee and talking about all of the accomplishments of our kids, where they were, what their plans were. And it was astonishing because I felt like what we wanted the most 15 years ago, 16 years ago, was a crystal ball to look into the future and say, look, here they are, they're gonna be okay. And no one can give you the crystal ball. But sitting there with her, we, we thought, what could we do to give back to the center? And that was where the idea of bringing our kids, who are now 15 years, 13 years on from graduating, back to the center to meet with parents of kids who are there, or to meet with some of the staff who's there, to say, this is, this is the work that you've done, and this is where these kids are. And we had our first event back in the spring, and it was amazing. It was, it just filled my heart to know that that's where she got her start, and those tools that she learned, that I learned, helped her to get where she is today even though it's 6,000 miles away. Um, the, kids, the kids all find their path, find their, find their place and what they're meant to be. And at our alumni event, there were kids who were working in preschools and some were working with special needs kids. One little girl was very passionate about her swimming and one young man who was in Hannah's class, who was a tiny little guy himself alongside tiny little Hannah, is now playing football for a Division I school. And they've come a long, long way. But this place is still so very, very important and important to our community. And we're hoping as a family, my husband and myself, that we can figure out ways to continue to give back to the center, to help the center support its families and support its grads, but really celebrate all that it gives to our kids and to the community in general, the larger Columbus community. 
it often feels like when you walk through those doors for the first time that you're starting some sort of unknown journey and nobody can give you that crystal ball. We didn't have it. I can tell you now 15 years later, we're very blessed. We've, we've had an incredible success story and the center was a big part of that and we'll be forever grateful for that. So I thank you and I encourage all of you to support the center. Come out and visit it, meet the kids, meet these incredible staff and teachers who are so dedicated. And I think you'll feel that there's a little piece of your heart that stays there, but a piece of the center that goes with you wherever you go.